Welcome to Aussie Rush and guess what? We have Polymer Clay Artist Showcase number 6 all thanks to those who have submitted to keep this series going. So there is a slight change to the showcase videos. I will be featuring other awesome clay artists that I personally came across and loved just to have a variety of content and of course if you happen to find others please comment down below and I will check it out and share with the rest of you artists out there. Hopefully we will keep this going every month. Without further ado, I will start with Destiny, who is 13 years old and worked with Palmer Clay for over a year now. She has a YouTube channel at Gummy Delights. The link is down in the info box below. Guess what? She made this super detailed and amazing toothless. It looks just like him. Destiny definitely has a real talent in her. My jaw was wide open when I first saw this toothless. Just look at the textures and all the details. This took Destiny about an hour to make and she said the most difficult part is the texture which is fantastically done without dotting too. Just look at that. Endless effort. This toothless is way better than the one I've made. So congratulations to Destiny on this incredible work. Next, Destiny made this Erin Ager Titan which took her about 45 minutes. This was her first try on finishing it but her third time carving the face. So yes, the most difficult parts are carving the face and painting the right tone of shades for Destiny in this case. I have to say that when making human-like Palmer clay creations, you do have to know how to draw because drawing and Palmer clay making goes hand in hand or side by side. So as for first try, Destiny did a good job on Erin. For improvement, I will carve out more on the neck and darken the shades a bit more. Nonetheless, this is a great start. And here is a baby stone dragon that took Destiny about 20 minutes. The dragon is about 1.5 inches long and this was also her first attempt. The hardest part in making this dragon is the claws because they are tiny and the clay is a bit too soft. If the clay is too soft, you can put it in the fridge for a few seconds just for it to become a bit firm. So this baby stone dragon is just a cutie and great craftsmanship. I really love this and I would love to see more from Destiny. Next we have Archer or Solo Paul on YouTube and he also has a Facebook page dedicated to clay and art just for you guys, the community. So make sure to check it out, like the page and just interact. If you have watched previous showcase videos, you know that Osher has shared his purple ADN from Almost Home Animation and a Totoro figurine. So here he has made these angry birds and the pig. So this blue bird took about an hour and a half made out of a plastic scene and then painted it over it. So same process for the red bird and the rest of the angry birds but this red bird took about two hours. I love the details and the craftsmanship of these characters. Then there is a pig, which took about an hour and here is a picture of all three with a context. I can see this as a claymation and waiting for them to move at any minute. So really really well done and just keep going. So we have Luke who made this fantastic creations of Maleficent and Aurora from the Disney movie Maleficent. I'm sure most of you guys have watched I hope. Yeah so these two are well crafted and I love love the cuteness of Aurora. Maleficent is also spot on based on my tutorial I must say. Luke did a fabulous job on making it. These two are just so cute. So Luke also made a figurine of Lady Gaga. She is one of a kind. I like there is glitter on her but it will be a lot more appealing if it's made right out of glitter clay. But nevertheless, this is refreshing to see. Here we have another returning artist, May, War Souls E Anime on DeviantArt. The Selvion is her second try but there is the first try on the lower right hand corner where you can check it out on showcase number 2 video. So this Selvian's head took about an hour for everything which is a lot shorter than the first try. This charm is more secure and the colors are vibrant and accurate than the first one. You are bound to see improvements on the second try and I can guarantee you guys that there will be improvements if you keep trying. So the hardest part is the making sure the ribbons are secure enough for breaking. So this is just awesome and I love both versions. 
She has made this star earrings inspired by the ones I've made, and damn, this star is perfectly made. Just look at all the five feet. Is it is it feet or five angles? So this took me about twenty min minutes, and the hardest part is glazing because it is an earring and you can't hang it. So the way I let it dry is stick the earring post into a foam core or something that can be poked into to hold the earring and just let the glaze dry. Here we have Liang at a cute cafe on YouTube who also has shared with us before in the last showcase video number 5 so make sure to watch that. Here she made this really adorable cookie mural that took her about 30 minutes and the hardest part for her is the mouth which turned out really well actually. And this cookie looks edible and I also love the colorful M&M's. Next, Liang made this a somewhat chibi BMO from Adventure Time. It's really cute and this took her about 45 to 60 minutes because of the small details on the buttons. Or well, just the buttons, they're really small. So the whole work clearly shows and it turned out really well and just freaking adorable. If the small details are too difficult to make using polymer clay, you can paint those details on with acrylic paint instead after you bake the charm, of course. So sometimes integrating polymer clay and paint are good and you make the creation a lot more appealing and neat. So if the buttons are too hard to make because of the size, just paint them on. I think there are some dust particles on BMO. I mean, if there are, and for future reference, you can use rubbing alcohol to remove the dust particles. And rubbing alcohol can also remove fingerprints, which is awesome. So nonetheless, this BMO is really adorable, and you did a great job on it. Last one that Liang made is this nerdy cookie. I can see that Liang loves cookies. Every time I see a cookie charm, I just want to eat them because they look so realistic. So this cookie took about 20 to 30 minutes and the hardest part was to get the eyes and the blush in the glasses because since she made the glasses first or the, just the frame first. This nerdy cookie certainly has the right expression and I can see this as a bookmark. Now here comes another amazing clay artist that I personally came across on DeviantArt. Her name is Emmy Clock with username at Bagenegoya. Her stuff is just absolutely amazing and if you are Adventure Time fan, you're gonna love this BMO pen pot and Jake pen holder. How awesome is that? Very creative and original. She also made awesome figurines and masks. So here are just a few. She made this Luke from Death Note and a mask. I think that's her original design, I'm not sure. Also Studio Ghibli characters. She made Totoro and but here is the cat bus she did. I mean how awesome is that? Just it's out of this world. So I highly recommend you guys take a look at her creations. She also has an Etsy shop, so take a look. Her work is inspirational among many other artists. So there are still many more artists that I want to feature in these showcase videos. And if you have someone in mind, please let me know in the comment below for future showcase videos. Also, if you have any ideas, suggestions, opinions, thoughts on how to make these showcase videos better, just leave that in the comment below also. I truly want to hear what you guys have in mind to help me provide a better content for you all. Oh, and don't forget to submit photos of your own creations to my email at rzrush at gmail.com for the upcoming showcase videos. Hopefully, we can have a showcase video for every month. And this is it. Keep your creations and comments coming. Alright, peace out guys.